What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the Pentagon Challenge. Today we have the opportunity guys to win the second big trophy of this series. The league titles are great, don't get me wrong, but we are here for the Continental Cup competitions. We've already won the Copa Libertadores and today we have the opportunity to win the CAF Champions League. But we take on Cape Town Spurs, another team from South Africa and a team that we have actually lost to already this season. The semi-finals was very difficult. Now we have the final. Can we lift the trophy or is it another year in South Africa? Let's get into it. <laughs> So then guys, here we are. This is it. CAF Champions League uh, game against Cape Town Spurs in the semi-finals. We did manage to knock out the holders. They've won it for the last two years, Super Sport United. If we go on the profile of the competition, ourselves versus Cape Town Spurs, as you can see, guy from Super Sport United is actually one of the top goal scorers in the competition. He's got 20. Um, one of the Cape Town Spurs lads has got 13. One of our guys has got 11, so we're doing pretty well there. We're doing well in terms of the clean sheets and stuff, but Super Sport United were the holders of this competition for the past two years. You guys were last with me. Let me tidy up this calendar for this game here. We'd already lost the first leg. We kind of did a, a, a sort of a double leg special. Um, we lost the first game against Supersport United at home. You would have seen that last time out. The result against Chipper United saw us win the league in South Africa for the second time in a row. So if things don't go to plan today, we will have the CAF Champions League confirmed for next season. In the semi-final, we then had two goals inside the first half away at Supersport United, away at the holders, which saw us go through to the final. Cape Town Spurs, though, let's have a look and see how they've got on in terms of their running. Uh, let's change the filters, take out all the competitions and CAF Champions League. So then, this has been their running. They've lost to Zamalek already and drew with Weydad Casablanca. Um, they beat this team as well from, a, I believe, the Democratic Republic of Congo, who had won it three years ago. So they've beaten some, some decent teams on the route to the final. Um, they've been pretty good in this competition as well. Um, if we take a look at our schedule, for instance, and we filter it down just to the CAF Champions League, Again, we've been doing pretty well in this as well, just with that one loss coming to Super Sport United away from home. But this is it. This is the big game. This is the CAF Champions League final. If I bring in um, all my competitions again, you can see here we have lost to Cape Town Spurs. We lost to Cape Town Spurs in the final of um, the Telcom knockout. Um, so that is how we how we got on last time. We've still got to play them once in the league. Um, earlier on in our league campaign, we beat them 1-0 away from home. So it's a very mixed bag against Cape Town Spurs. But without any further ado, guys, let's get into the tactical meeting. So then, guys, this is the team for the CAF Champions League final. We've got Palmer and goal, Johannes, bad boy, Nathani, Moltung, Sifama alongside Fali in the central midfield spots. Kautlung, our semi-final hero on the right-hand side. Uh, Undo as the central attacking midfielder. Thali Burton and then Miller complete the starting 11. We have been very, very good all season. We will submit this team. We will go into the match. And we need a big, big performance here, guys. We need something massive here. We go into the dressing room. Go out and get revenge from what happened last time against Cape Town Spurs. They seem to like that. We take to the field. We are in the black and yellow. And our opposition are in the white with the Red Sox. Can we get this result? Can we tick off the second trophy in South Africa? KG start. We have our first highlight though, and do into Burton then. Over to the elder statesman Sifama. Out to Kautlung. Kautlang. He goes on his own. Oh my god, what a strike that is. That's his 17th of the season. It's as if he is made for the CAF Champions League. As you can see here, the Kaiser Chief fans going absolutely berserk here. He has no right to score this goal. Takes a touch onto his left foot. And he bends it over the top, off the inside of the post. Un 
real start to the CAF Champions League final. I cannot believe he's just pulled that out. As I said, he was our semi-final superhero in that second leg with his two first half goals. And he's come and come at Trumps again and he's got another absolute worldie of a strike, which has put us in a great position to lift this trophy. Corner for Cape Town Spurs though. Comes across. Bad boy gets the header clear. And Doe with another header clear into Miller. We've got the counter attack here. We've got the numbers. Can Miller look up and get a pass off? He does into Burton. Running down the left hand side then. Can he get a crossover? He gets past one. Crosses there. <gasps> it's been scooped off the line. Wow. How is that defender just swung a leg at it and somehow, some way, got the ball clear? Half time, Kaut Lang's goal is the difference maker. We are one goal to the good. This um and cube M M M cube guy coming out at a seven point three for them. He's equaling our guy who scored a goal. Um, I don't want to say the money's worth. Things are going well, but you're capable of even better. Good first half. Can we build on it? We have been well known in South Africa for keeping clean sheets and defending well. Nathani's there. Can add to his goal tally this season. Another good opportunity for us. Set piece then for the Cape Town Spurs. The man who's been having a good first half delivers the ball in. Nathani gets that one clear. Only to the taker, though. Spreads it out to the left-hand side. This great pass into the central midfield. He hits it. Hits the crossbar. And Nathani is able to get the danger clear. What a strike that is. We are not taking off Johannes. That is for damn sure. Miller then running down this left-hand side. Loses the ball. Burton again not turning up in a big game. And Cozy for the Cape Town Spurs on this right-hand side. Burton is getting himself sent off right we go down to 10 in the CAF Champions League final we go down to 10 men Burton I think we need to change our we need to change our play style we need to go cautious at the very least. Uh, I think that's fine when we have possession. I'm going to actually turn the underlaps off. We're going to time waste sometimes. Slow the tempo right down. We're going to play for set pieces now. In transition, we're going to regroup. We're going to hold the shape and we are going to slow the pace down. We're going to roll it out goalkeeper distribution and out of possession. We're just going to play so, so deep. That's all we can do. That's all we can do, guys, is sit and hope. Hope that we can hold on for these final 15 minutes. Burton has put us in one hell of a hole here. We need to make some changes and do is absolutely blowing. I'm going to bring on Goddard on this side. And I'm going to bring on Ali for the goal scorer on this side. And hope that the fresh outlet ball may be there on the left and on the right. Being a man down is sub-ideal, but if we can restrict them to long-range shots like that, I am absolutely fine with it. Into the final 10 minutes. We are going to change that mentality. We are going to go very defensive, as my assistant says. We're not going to make that change. Sifama, we go into injury time here. Goddard with the ball inside the opposition penalty area. And Tommy... Bad boy has <laughs> secured us the CAF Champions League trophy. Tommy Bad Boy, what a name for a player. He has uh, he's done it. He has done it. Goddard gets the ball, holds it up nicely, and then the center half is there and fires past the goalkeeper. Despite Burton getting sent off, we have won the CAF Champions League. League. I can't believe it. Trophy number two in the bag. Oh, that means it's a very interesting summer coming up, but let's hand the trophy over and lift the trophy. And there goes the confetti. 
Love to see it. The black and yellow rains down. It has been a sensational two years in South Africa. I'm not going to lie. I cannot believe how well things have gone. We go into the dressing room. Congratulations, lads. I'm happy with the performances out there. Enjoy your success. These are the moments you will remember when you hang up your boots. Everyone seems to have enjoyed that. None more so than me. I am happy that I do no longer have to manage this guy anymore. Mr. I cannot turn up in big games that I spent 1.5 million from. Uh, doesn't feel comfortable. I can't believe I paid that money for him knowing that. Anyway, we continue. Kaiser Chiefs get awarded just under 2 million for winning the Champions League final. We celebrate a famous treble. Burton's banned for one match, but obviously we don't have to deal with that. Uh, Kaiser Chiefs lift the CAF Champions League. If we look at the past winners, I don't know if they've ever won it. Have they ever won it? It's rolling through. Doesn't look like the Kaiser Chiefs have ever won this trophy. Orlando Pirates have been in there. The Sundowns have been in there as runners up. Obviously, the Sundowns won it in 2016. Then it's kind of sort of moving into the domination of the South African team. Super Sport United winning it the last two years. And now us winning it now. We move forward. Um, Hell's true Kaiser Chiefs legend. That is me um, singing my name. You know, the board are happy with us picking up the CAF Champions League. Um, as you kind of would expect. We've got some fitness concerns. But guys, we go over to the competition screen. The trophy's not there, but we have won it. We've won the league. We've won the cup. Uh, we've won the league, sorry. We've won the Champions League. We are out of both domestic cups now, um, so we cannot complete that. But we've won the MTMA. We've won the Be The Coach Challenge, and we won the CAF Super Cup. It's been one hell of a journey. If we go into the home screen, we go on to my profile. This is how we are looking right now. Obviously, we are the winners of the CAF Champions League. Um, I am now fluent in English, Spanish, Portuguese, and Sestetho. Sestetho? That's awful. I don't know how to say that word. But we're moving forwards, guys. And we're going to have to find a new challenge in a new continent. A little look at my attributes, though. This is where we're sat right now. Uh, we're doing pretty well. Um, attacking, defending is is sort of your bread and butter. Nice tactical, good technical, good mentals. Um, the mental attributes are actually where I stand out. Great level of discipline, fantastic man management, and great motivating. Um, it has been one hell of a journey, guys. We are in May 2000 and, uh, 2029, sorry. And this, is, this has been our run in South Africa. 127 games played, 123 games won, one draw, three losses. Amazing goal difference and a 96% win ratio as the manager of the Kaiser Chiefs. As I said, though, a new challenge will be coming. That will be next episode. Um, we need to potentially take a look at some of these clubs um, because, for instance, we won't be going to Argentina. Uh, we won't be doing international management. We won't be going to Colombia. Mexico is an option for us. Um, obviously, we don't need to go uh, into South Africa anymore. Pohang Steelers could be a very interesting option. In um, Are they in the second league? Is that the second league? I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know. South, South Korean football, who'd have thought? This has got to be the top league now. League Classic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Pohang Steelers are actually... I actually think they're quite a good team. Let's have a look at their profile. Um, I mean, it's all new gens. Nice stadium. What are their facilities like? Exceptional. Youth recruitment, excellent academy coaching, great youth, great training. This could be an option, guys. This could be an option, but there's still plenty to go. We're going to, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to finish these uh, four games in the league before I resign um, as manager of Kaiser Chiefs. You will see that in next episode, but we need to find ourselves a new job. 
that is going to be next episode where we land. If you have enjoyed today's episode, you have enjoyed me picking up the CAF Champions League trophy, the second of the five that we need to achieve in this series. And don't forget to drop a like on it down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that bell so you're told every time I upload a video because coming very soon will be this third leg of this journey. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on another video very soon.